and welcome back to uh, Wastelands. So we're just finishing up uh, bailing the straw on the um, canola field that we harvested last episode. And um, we're not getting a... I mean, we already hauled off one uh, trailer full. We did that last episode as well. But, uh, yeah, I think we'll get at least another one and a half trailers out of this. We'll go sell it and make a little bit of cash. Um, hopefully get us up to around ten or 12000 And then we got to uh, jump into June and harvest the, uh, soy, or the um, sunflowers over there. And I believe... Leave our uh, sorghum straight ahead. Straight ahead is going to be ready too. Um, yeah, we only got a couple rows left. I was going to go lease a windrower, but I decided not to on this one. Um, the windrower is going to be a good idea uh, when we have to harvest uh, multiple big wheat fields. Or, I'm sorry, just uh, grain crops that produce the uh, the straw. It's going to make it a lot nicer to be able to uh, bale them up. So, oops, missed that row. Um, I thought it was a... I pretty much bailed this whole field in a first-person view. It's been kind of been kind of interesting um, it's I was thinking about trying to do a whole episode of in person but I don't know how possible that'll be uh, not in person but first person I just don't know how possible that'll be on to, to be able to do everything we can uh we can give it our, our darndest and see if uh, it's possible. I'm sure somebody's tried it. All right, the final row. And like I said, we'll go uh, sell this straw and make some money. This tractor's going to need some repairs, too, once we uh, get the cash. Actually, it may not be the tractor. I, I don't remember if I repaired it recently. It might be the uh, front loader. It's causing the... Uh... Oh, look, at, we're not going to have that much straw left in here, either. Alrighty. Well. It's back to the yard. Yeah, we did still get quite a few bales out of it. Cornfield. And our sunflowers. Look at them all facing... What do sunflowers face east? I think as they grow, they face east. I'm not an expert farmer, but I thought that's what I heard one time. I'm just gonna pop this in here. Heck with it. Heck with it. All right, let's back up a tiny bit. And then I think. Yeah, it's a tractor that needs repaired. Oh no, we still have the front loader on it. Um. See, first person view messed me up. I went the wrong way. Let's. 
Let's back this in here for now. Turn it off. There it is. It's a little dirty. Let's give it a wash up real quick. Just to go get it dirty again. We can't deliver dirty uh, straw bales. I mean, that would just be stupid. Get the deck nice and clean. Alrighty. That'll be good enough. Is this an all metal deck? Yeah, it is, huh? Oh, look at it shining. That's how clean we got it. See the reflection? Everything looks good on the pre trip. Tractor's gonna need some uh, water attention as well. Yeah, you shouldn't jump out of moving tractors. It's not good for you. our green combo the green tractor the green trailer oops let me do something real quick um Y, B, okay, we should be able to pick up the bales now without having any major issues. Ooh. And while we're harvesting this field, um, I might get Joe working on planting this field. Come on. I know we just, uh... Okay. Reset. Bam. Oh, I already forgot. To do everything in first person, see? Just not natural in this game. So let's see if we can do it. But I already ruined it, so now we're gonna have to just swap back and forth. Go down here and get the rest of these ones.
this one over here? No. That was just a crop that I missed. Maybe we're only gonna barely have a new a tra one trailer pull and a couple bales. How did I miss that one? That's not cool. All right, let's get these over to the bale sale. sitting in the roof. Soybeans should be getting close too. That's going to be a fun harvest. That's a pretty big field. And I thought I saw earlier when I was driving through here thought I saw an opening in the fence somewhere. Thought it was like right here. Oh, maybe I didn't. Okay. Guess I didn't. I don't know, do you guys like the first person? I'm not sure if I do or not. Like now, I can't even tell. Well, I turned off the zone markers. Um, well, I guess we'll just, we'll just go for it. Yeah, we got thirteen eight forty nine. Not a little bad bonus for uh, just getting some straw off the field. Uh oh. Well, there goes our harvest. Oh no, we can't harvest anyways. You know what? Let me uh just top this thing off while we're here. We even have wipers on the sides and the back, really, but not on the driver's side. That's kind of cool. Uh, Lux Light. Wonder if they're having the same issue as, uh, the real brand that resembles that sign. <laughs> I'm thinking that this should be, they should be low enough on hay. Yeah. So when we wake up, they should be low enough on the hay to be able to start giving them their TMR. Dang, and this thing doesn't have a very big milk capacity, does it? It's already almost half full. So we're going to have to probably get a milk uh, tank to ex... Oh, a lamb. 
I've never seen that before. Sheep, sheep, lamb. What? Why did it change all of a sudden? I did download a different shed and it did a, a required mod. So I wonder why it changed. Now it's showing the babies. You know what? Oh yeah, look at the little babies. Ah. I didn't know that was going to do that. I just downloaded it for the goats. Aw, look at the baby sheep. Fine little babies. This one's brand spanking new. I can barely even stand. Now did the cows do the same thing? Alright, well, that's good to know. Little baby lambs. Got a couple more pallets of wool. Oh yeah, I forgot that grass is ready. Dang. We need to get that done before we move on. The jobs never end. I think I'll get Joe and I on that real quick and um, we won't uh, Drag it on too long on the recording. Right. I'm gonna have to move out to this view. Makes it all, oh, you know what? I don't know if we can mow in the rain. I, I mean, I, I know we can, but I'm still afraid that it's gonna, uh, Still afraid that it's gonna um, reduce our yield. Yeah, so I'm not uh, sure if we should plow in or mow in the rain. Let me just do a test strip here. Yeah, see, it doesn't, it doesn't ever tell us that you can't harvest in the rain or anything, or mow in the rain. I don't have access to the land, but I can mow it and throw it onto mine, people. Shoot, who do they think they're talking to? It's not my farmland. And I know this isn't the best grass to, to mow to try to get a Um, a sample off of mowing in the rain, but hey, you know what? It works. And before old Joe shows up, I'll go ahead and 
pick all this grass up real quick. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. We can mow in the rain. We'll just uh, let's let's just put this over here for now. Keep it out of the way. Back into this one. This shed is empty. We need our baler again. Oh, you know what? We were gonna do hay this time. Or is that on the other map? How many hay bales do we have? Hey, baby sheep. Hey, baby sheep. Look at those ears. Big ol' ears. How much hay did we hay up? 39 bales of hay. Yeah, you know what? I think we still have enough hay to do, uh... We can do a load of silage. more silage we have the better we can go sell some we have uh, almost 12,000 or almost 11,200 liters of uh, manure I'm not sure if I want to sell the manure or not maybe I'll use it for fertilization on the grass fields We'll go 100% organic for the animals. Oh, we're going to be dropping one. One straw bale out for sure. Maybe two. We still got a couple on the other field too. able to pick up that entire uh, long row of or wide row of grass there man I really wish these square bells would wrap themselves too if we can squeeze in between yes Watch out, baby sheep. Yeah, I know, I know, you're scared. I also saw that mod for the, uh, I don't know if it's a watering system, but I, I know it does uh, fertilizer and um, herbicide, the big, you know, you put it in the center of the field and it sprays in a circle. I, I don't know what it's called, but that's something that I I haven't seen before till just right before I started filming this. Um, you know, that's how the majority of farming goes nowadays, at least in the U.S. Um, and I'm sure it's probably widely used around the world internationally. But, uh... I think that's something that should be added into the base game um, to water the fields and, and do your herbicide and your fertilizer mixtures. Now smaller fields, yeah I can see you know smaller farms they wouldn't need something that expensive but it, like if you're doing a large farm setup that's 
you know, something that... Not mandatory. You know, you could still do it the way we're currently doing it. But that would be a nice upgrade to the farms. Alright. Well, let's, uh... It's already on and activated. So, Joe's, he just ran and jumped in. Get out of the rain. Alright. Like I said, we won't drag the mowing on too, too long. Even though it's, it's extremely entertaining to see what Joe's going to do. Turn this on for Joe, I forgot. I right, pull up, Joe. Pull up a little closer. There you go. Let's get these out of your way, too. We don't want you stabbing anything. Alright. Get Joe set up. Let's get to rolling. can have this fo field mode in, I don't know, 15 minutes. Joe's following me. I know at some point we're going to have an issue with Joe. I just don't know when. Come on, don't mow my crop. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to uh, be able to harvest today. And we might. We might be able to get to the sunflowers. I think it would probably be, be better just to start next episode with the, uh, the sunflower harvest. Yeah, Joe. You keeping up? Oh yeah, I forgot we had these bells over here. I'm gonna go ahead and make the turn here and then I'm gonna stop and wait on Joe. He gets upset when he's back there by himself working. He wants to make sure that we're seeing that he's doing a good job. And if he's too far back there, then we can't see what he's doing. Oh, look at the baby sheep.
Joe, you're doing a good job, bud. No complaints yet. We might have some shortly, but not right now. Watch out, sheep. We don't want to turn you into... ...to, um, ground sheep. Alright guys, yeah, you know what? I am gonna time lapse this for us. It's not that bad, uh doesn't take that long. So let me throw you on a time lapse and we'll get this all done. Um, I don't know what's going on with that baler. Joe just got extremely upset and told me that all my equipment's junk and well, something keeps happening to it. I wonder if it needs repaired. Maybe, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe if I don't repair the baler, it, uh, has issues with the pickup down there? I, I don't know, but it, this uh, what third third time it's done it, and it's the pickup because when you go to take off, it gets wedged. So yeah, looks like Joe stomped off the work site. He's not in there anymore. Oh well. They told me if it did it again, that that was it. And he said, what kind of HE double hockey stick junk equipment do you operate around here? So, you can't please them all. Joe will go home and pout a little bit and then he'll be back. Alright, so let's, uh, Jump into this and see if it's doing the same thing again. I don't know. Working fine this time. I'm thinking Joe just got tired and went home. We seem to have the biggest issue with bailing. Maybe he doesn't like to bail. When we always have all the issues. That's fine. I'm gonna dock Joe's pay. He thinks he's gonna get paid for a full shift. He's got news. Oh, I've got news for him. So, all right, guys. I'm gonna. Uh, Finish picking these up, and I'll see you when we're done. I know that time lapse is going to end with three rows left, but... 
All right, guys, we're done with the uh, the bailing. Let's go ahead and get uh, the wrapper out, and we'll wrap some of these. I think what I'll do first is take one take one of these over to the sheep. Go. They almost took the whole bell. Not all. Not quite. But uh, automatic drop is Z. I believe that is there might be one down at the other end let's just go see real quick I think I missed one down here somewhere ah, maybe I didn't Tractor needs serious repair. Let's go grab these bells first and then we'll uh grab that those couple things of straw. let those ferment and then uh, a couple months we'll have more silage you know let's see if we can get a little bit of straw and then when we come back next episode we're gonna tackle the fields now that we got the bales wrapped and out of the way, I don't have to worry about it. What do I have? Three over here? Yeah. Like I said, we'll get Joe on this one next episode. Get him planting. He 
think we'll do a whole field of oats this time. Let me just make sure there's none down here in the bushes. Nope. All right, guys, I uh, appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Um, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. All right, bye for now.